we're going to try to watch it in slow-mo a little bit. But I do admit, um, I didn't really know. This is off of Twitter, by the way. I don't really know who Dude was. I did see some clips, but I haven't really watched a fight of his in, flo- in four. In four. Uh, Ilya Tuporia uh, just defeated Alexander Volkanovsky, one of the best UFC fighters of all time. Stopped him in round number two. He was out for a nice little while. Oh, let me see if I can play it in uh, um, in his full here. Watch this. You see that shot? It was that that last right hand. It was that last right hand right there. Let me see if I can go full screen. It was that last right hand right there that did him in. And he was asleep down there. He went to a rematch in Spain, by the way. We're going to listen to the post-fight interview. Um, now 15-0 with five KOs, eight submissions. Um, they were talking about how, you know, um, it wasn't really known if he had power or not. Or it wasn't really, um, I guess, he wasn't looked at as being a guy with power. But Volk has been known to be a very durable dude. In fact, he has been stopped... Uh, uh, twice I remember this I covered this uh, fight and he was uh, doing pretty good even though it was only round one it, it pretty much came out of nowhere but two losses to two tough fighters for one at 155 pounds shout out to him and then also um, uh, losing now in his natural weight division to an undefeated fighter so if you look at basically where he's been at his last I mean look look at this look at this run right here Look at this run right here since 2018. Just start in 2018. Look at this run. So, you know, 35 years old, all good primes come to an end. I'm not saying that he's done done, but, you know, two straight losses like that, three of your last four, can be somewhat devastating, even though I believe I had him winning the first fight against uh, Machayev. I don't remember. Let me know how you feel down below in the comments. We're going to listen to the post-fight interview. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. Here's another uh, better view of the uh, knockout. Miss. Boom. Oh. Out on his feet, as you can see. Out on his feet. Out on his feet. I recorded this from Twitter. Out on his feet. And tonight, a healthy, respectful moment there with Joe Lopez. But Toporia acknowledged his knockout power, and that rules Let's the day. Let's see it again. There it is, right on the chin, out cold, one shot. Blitz forward. That was the one that ended him. He was already having issues with the uh, leg kick, by the way. Let's listen to the post-fight interview from both fighters. At three minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Still undefeated and... Champion of the world, Ilya Amazador Congratulations, sir. I am here with the winner and new champion, Ilya Tapuria. Ilya, you called this, you envisioned it, it came to fruition. How does this feel to you now? I feel so happy, Joe. I feel so happy right now. They're going to tell you you can do it. They're going to knock you down and doubt you. But guess what? The only person you need to achieve anything in this, in this life is yourself. Just trust yourself. Work tirelessly. Have faith. And everything is possible. Look at me. Look at me now. Look. What was it about this fight that made you believe you would put him away in the second round? I just know my skills, Joe. I work so hard. I work so hard for this one. I, 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 I was knowing always that uh, one day I will become a UFC world champion. So, guys, it doesn't matter where you come from if you know where you're going. It's much more important what's in front of you than what's behind you. Ilya, I want you to take a look at the big screen and enjoy this because this was about as beautiful a right hand 
has has ever been thrown in the UFC, and certainly in a world championship fight. One shot, you put him away. Let's take a look at it again here. You close the distance, and here it is right here. Call, call. I just had to throw a lot of punches in this fight, a long combination, long combinations, and this is what I did. Well, Ilya, you are the new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Enjoy it, sir. I cannot wait to watch you. Hey. Hey. Listen to uh, uh, Volk. Um, hold on, my bad. Um, he seems like, you know, he's kind of dejected. I don't think he's going to retire or anything, but you can tell he's kind of like, you know, don't really know what he wants to do yet with his career or next. I'm here with the former champion, ladies and gentlemen. Alexander, you're obviously still loved. This is a hard moment for you. Give me your thoughts on it. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know, that's obviously has the powers in the hands. We knew uh, you got to be careful of that. Uh, yeah. Well done to him, you know, uh, he called me, uh, yeah, I was going to start working everything and, and he got me. So uh, credit to him, uh, obviously he's a hard hitter, we knew that going in, uh, he wasn't meant to land like that, but he did, so uh, credit to him. Uh, obviously, you know, I've been champion this featherweight division a long time, he keeps mentioning Spain, uh, maybe uh, we do a rematch over there in Spain. Well, you have been an amazing champion and I would love to see you fight again no matter who you fight and where you fight. It is an honor to call your fight, as always. Thank you, sir. Alexander Volkanovsky, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. He looks uh, He looks like he doesn't want to be there no more. Like, broken. I mean, obviously, you know, he's, uh, uh, you know, two straight losses, both. He was knocked out. Um, and now, you know, there may be questions about, like, well, you know, that he still have it, his chin and all that. But in reality... Um, Go back to the rebuilding stage. You know, um, of course, he wants to fight top guys, top competition. But now, at this point in time in his career, especially what he said at the end of his last fight, well, I think it was the fight before, where he was like, yo, he needs to be active or he starts going through mental health shit. If he's, you know, lost two straight fights the way that he's lost, then, you know, maybe it's time to, like, keep him active but go back to the drawing board because i don't like the way he looks right there take your time out like the video subscribe and teach me controversy with 5v360